of the tournament. Both come into the final unbeaten. Fiji victories over Papua New Guinea, Guam, Solomon Islands, Tahiti, Vanuatu. And then a 22-5 win in the semi-final against Papua New Guinea earlier this afternoon. For Samoa, the road started against Tonga, Nadu, Vanuatu, New Caledonia and Tahiti. And they met their brothers in arms, Tonga again in the semi-final. With a similar result of 35-5. Siasi Aso Falau is the top try scorer in the competition with 11. He will wear jersey number 11. And for Sa Samoa, the hard work of Fale Mainga, Seli Seli, Tila Mieloi, along with Leo Lolo. It's been a real feature for Fiji. And well, where do you start? Katanam Biao has been inspirational as a captain. Vedema Lua has done what he needed, has needed to do. It's been the extreme pace of Nasila Sila, Dawai, and Atu Naisa. It's been Fiji and Samoa that have dominated the sevens in the Pacific Games since 1999. Fiji won the first two Pacific Games when it turned to sevens in 99 and 2003. It was Samoa in 2007. And Apia had won the final and they backed it up four years ago in Numea, New Caledonia. Sally Sally for Manu Samoa leads the team out. And Koton Ombiao, the captain for Fiji, as we now await the two anthems. Two national anthems. Talofa and Bulavanaka, viewers around the Pacific in the islands. And if Samoa needed any motivation, not that they should, because these two teams have had a mortgage on the gold medal. 
they can take some pride out of what their 15 aside team achieved taking on the All Blacks earlier this week. Oh, mate, it was a, a magnificent display in, in, in Samoa, but now they almost beat the All Blacks. Can they beat the Fijians? That is the question. Looking for a three-peat Samoa. Gold medals in Apia, 07, 11, Fiji in 99, and 03. And the guide of referee Paul Williams. 10 minute halves for the final. As Tila Mialoi gets the signal out. And I think that we'll see a different change, a change in game plan with the conditions here. Going high as Ben Malua has lost the ball into the arms of Saina. Jack Sainer taking the ball to the line. Early contact. He's made Mialoi out to Asafalau. Couldn't control it. Mialoi's had to come back and scoop the ball up, and he's done well to control it in these difficult conditions. Soyalo, the lovely pass out to Sainer. And here comes Va'a. Va'a draws the attention of Ravobo. That's really well, just fighting, stay in field. That's a full out, looks in behind the grubber kick. He's got the pace. Has he got the football skills? Just a little heavy from the top try scorer. He chanced his arm, that's a full out. There was an opportunity to just keep the ball going backwards and forwards. As long as he got possession, Fiji can't score. I thought he may have been a little bit patient, more patient, but why not? It's chip and chase. Uh, but, yeah, just too much... Uh, on that kick. I like the tactic of kicking it away from where the sweeper was, which meant that it was going to be a foot race as opposed to just kicking it to where somebody is as now. Fiji look for territory. Tila Mialoi drops back. His captain, Fale Mainga, silly silly gets in, clears the ball out into the midfield where Saina, beautiful step as Jack Saina. Little Malua and Koto Nambiao. Make sure they affect the tackle. Dawai, the chip and chase going back again as Mialoi. Dawai's controlled it. That's better football skills. Sayena gets back. Dawai wins the race. And Dawai scores. <laughs> he hasn't been awarded. The referee consulting him with the end goal touch. And it's given Try. now. Try time. Oh, Darwin, a magnificent play. He just did a little chip. I thought it may have been the wrong option, but he played a bit of soccer. And when we talk about football, he controlled that football all the way to the try line before scoring. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, great camera work, good work, team. Capturing the action there, you can see the end goal assistant referee had no problem at all in saying that there was downward pressure. Kitiyoni Dawai's ninth try. And Samoa, Samoa need to keep with Fiji. They can't let him score or, or go out in front with two or three tries. They've got to keep with the, the Fijians right throughout this game. It's gone to the quiet 10 metres. Mialoi again looked up and Mata had to make the tackle. Ball is free. Va controls it. Samoa going backwards through Osofalau. Big hit coming in again from the captain, Kotono Mbiao. Silly, silly. He's not afraid of taking the ball into contact. Rawatha comes in with the tackle. And then Saina says, let's just get out of our own half. We've got the wind and the 10 minute halves. Let's just try and play for a little bit of territory. Back with the fancy feet of. Masila Sila, here's Rawatha. Gets rid of the first defender. Now the pass over the top. Here comes Masila Sila. Ball on the inside. It's taken here by Dawai. Dawai breaks. Sila Sila comes at him. Dawai! 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 He's in again! Oh, what a great player. He's just magical when he's got the football. He just runs in and out. He's such, he's probably the smallest player on the field, but just knows how to get the ball across the white line. He's strong. He just 
Sellison almost got him, reached out. Oh, fabulous try. Tioni Dawai gets two in the final. And the option to kick the ball was right, but the chase from the Samoans, the line was staggered. And once they broke free with the run down the flank from Nasila Sela, support play, a lot of work to do. And that is just glorious. And Nasila Sela, you can see, has been replaced. Not sure whether that's an injury or what it is. Trying to get some information on that. As big Leo Lolo pats the ball like he's playing volleyball into the arms of Va. He gets taken in a tackle by Mata. How do Samoa respond? How big is the heart inside the Manu Samoan jersey? They won't die wondering. The men from the beautiful island of Samoa, Asafalau, into the contact of Rawatha. They want to tap and go here. Leo Lolo. Lealoi. Tila Lealoi. Just holding play up, and it's oh. gone for the lucky for Sayana. Quickly onto it was Paul who's come onto the field in jersey number nine. Here's Benny Malua. Benny Malua is very, very quick. Benny Malua is in to score the third. What a start from Fiji. Current World 7 Series champions of 2015, and that is unbelievable. The pass out the back, and Benny Malua just looked back to space, those big long limbs, and once he got into fifth <laughs> gear, it was good night, nurse. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the conditions are like, the flag pass, Billy Malua just took off. Fiji are playing it as if we're in sunshine, let alone rain. Uh, they're used to playing in cyclone conditions. They were welcomed home as heroes, and they deserve to be after winning the series in London of this year. Ben Ryan told me that he let the team go back and take all of the credit. Stayed in London for a bit of business and also to catch up with the family. And he told me that a trip in Nandy that was supposed to take an hour once again took 10 hours because <laughs> everybody wanted to uh, have a carver with the champions. It might take him two weeks this time. Oh, well, they deserve it. They haven't won the title since 2003. 12 years without the gold medal around the neck of the Fiji and Samoa, though. They'll come back. As the Falau does brilliantly to get to ground. Rawatha comes in and tries to with the counter ruck. No problem, says the ref. And just getting up muscled at the breakdown there, Samoa. Well, I was going to say, they're getting pounded at the breakdown, and that's where Fiji are winning this game. They're fighting for possession. They just want the football and they're just pounding Samoa. Siossi. Siossi. That's a Falau is the go-to guy for Samoa. They need to get him involved in the game on attack. As it comes along the line, Darwai gets it out to the fleet-footed teammate back into the pocket where La Volvo now has the ball. Going forward is Mulivoto out to Redia Malua. Couldn't take the pass on that occasion. That's a rare mistake for Fiji. They've been controlling the football magnificently. It's taken eight, eight and a half minutes for the mistake. He just overrun it. And Redia Malua, maybe the pass needed to be a little flatter. A little bit crisper. it was. Yeah, more crisper. Samoa can't get the throw. The kick is out on the full. So just some problems here from Samoa. With position in the set piece as Sayina. Now look, it goes quick. And that's a much better line out. Mia Loy. Now to Va'a. Asafalau. There if required. The late cut, the kick and chase. Very quick as Asafalau. Chases very well. He's done brilliantly. Just needed to maybe just tow it forward one more time. What a tremendous chase from Siossi Asofalao. 
from the Viola Club in Apia. That was a terrific chase, but it would have it would have taken a genius to be able to pick that ball up, go and get that pace in slippery conditions. Made his debut for Samoa on the Gold Coast of 2014. I think of the names that have come through the sport of sevens. Michele Pissimino, I'm sure that he alongside Uali Mai and Faro Saliva, some of the gold medalists for Samoa will be watching and hoping that Samoa can force an error here and a big hit coming in. But now Fiji look to run it from their own goal line. 104 metres they'll have to go inside, outside, evading the tackles and the passes are sticking. Here is Kotonombia, gets it out now to Rawata, Rawata, Va. Rawata in, out, and the oh. offload, out wide. Vere Malu has already scored one. They've got to go coast to coast. Fiji at the mercurial best. They've scored a 105 metre try. Rawata was part of it, and he's finished it. Oh, they are absolute geniuses. No doubt about it. They... They started that from inside their old home goal line. Look at this, the pass there. That's where it all started. And they had magnificent support. Just, look, we talk about the ball sticking. Just one-handed catch. Not a problem. Yeah, just a lackadaisical pass over their head. And here we go. The one, two, dance, left, right. Doing a David Campisi. Nice, easy pass. And Lolo. Just, again, just pops it up. Here is your try oh. score up. Luatha, great try. 24-year-old made his debut on the Gold Coast. Says his favourite player is Jonah Lomu. And hope you're well, Jonah, wherever you may be around the world. Jonah would have been proud of a try like that. And I know, I know Mark, that uh, during... Before the game, actually, when we're about to broadcast, you sent an email to somebody and you've got to reply. Yep, I sent an email to the CEO of World Rugby, Brett Gosman, just telling you how good the Pacific Games are and, and how good Pacific Rugby is in sevens. He replied, Mark, have been following the Twitter, etc. Does look great and shows how sevens will be a great addition to the Olympics next year. Hope all is well and congratulations to the organisers of the Pacific Games. Brett Gosper. I hope you're not uh, name dropping there, Mark Ella. Well, he is your friend. You gave me his, uh, his email address, mate. <laughs> you do get around, Willie. Quality sides have the ability to score just before the break and just after it and that has just put perhaps a little bit of doubt in the minds of the Samoans if they'd gone to the break without that seven points being scored they may have realized that they still are in this game as so they certainly are without a doubt 10 minutes is a long time do you think that coach Ben Ryan is happy with the performance oh, I, I would say that yeah. it's a simple message and that is 19-0 is a lot easier to come back from than 26. However, having said that, I have seen a Samoa on the World 7 Series come back in games to score 28 in the second half. So nothing is impossible. No, I definitely won't be writing them off. The start of the second half to the hands of Mialoi. Mr. Falau identifies that that's where they need to go into the hands of Soyalo. An offload from Soyalo. Mr. Falau has been good in the opening 10 and a half minutes of the game. Sayina gets it out to the big frame of Leo Lolo. Mialoi, the goose step and the tackle coming in from Paul Kiponi Paul. He's here on debut for the Fijian side. Pulled up from Samoa Silly Silly asking Asafalao to come through. The kick is accurate, but Nasila Sela was there to grasp it and possession given away 
now in the hands of the Fijians. Jawai to Vera Malua. Just love the way that they take the ball to the outsides. Did Nasila set up? Here is Vera Malua, the pass in field. And the kick option from Asafalau gave possession to Fiji. The offload here. Gives them try number five. And the smile says it all. Fiji in total control of this match. Yep, I don't think there's any way Samoa can come back. They just the support play has been outstanding. They've been hitting their lines at pace, coming at the right angles. Just again, just being there in numbers, they make it look so easy. Willie Voto Voto with the try and conversion. And the scoreline starting to blow out here. There was yeah. Paul with the offload. Vinimalua drew in the last defender. Yep, no hurry. They've got a support player coming. Not, not, not far behind. Just hold on. Nice and easy. Bolivaro's fifth try as the rain gets heavier. And that makes it more difficult for the Samoan players as they're running into that breeze. The way that the rain is falling. Let's not take anything away from the skills and the application from this Fiji inside. Desperate to get that gold medal back around. Uh, the Nick, Silver didn't feel too good. No, I don't think it does. They've got a lot to play for. Obviously, pride and tradition. They've got a big year coming up next year. They want to finish this year on top. That's the full out. Brains the ball. Swarming defence again. The other only option for Sayina. Forced to kick and our silly center to chase gets to it first and kicked into touch by Emosi Mulivoru. The Navy and Suva fly half over 200 points in world rugby on the series circuit. He made his debut in Hong Kong in 2012, so a lot of experience from the man with the headband that you can see standing in between the five meter mark. And that is a lot of points in such a short time. A great player. More changes for Samoa. Onto the field comes Etuifa Fiavai. Silly, silly. As he has right throughout the whole tournament. Accurate there, but a mistake. Just like that, Fiji comes through. The grubber kick. Soyalo goes back, releases the ball, and then picks up and goes again. Good skills shown from Soyalo. Here comes Va'a. One of the quicker players for Samoa stops and goes again. Vedi Malua brings him down. Mulivoru guilty of going over the ball and not supporting his own body weights. And they'll tap and go through Asifa Amatala. Gets rid of the first Asifa Amatala. Now places Va'a. That's a full out. Samoa desperate to score a try here. Va'a. To the contact via Vai. Silly, silly. Big and strong is silly, silly. They bunch those some up. They've got some space out here. Also, full out to Va. Va breaks through. Here's some reward for Samoa. They've deserved it. They've been gutsy throughout the whole three days, and no one deserves it more than that man there. Lafayette Baha. Baha, you're dead right. The Samoans have been throwing everything at Fiji. And Baha steps out and tackle. Oh, he was almost held, but to his credit, gets out of the tackle to score Samoa's first try. They've still got something in them, Samoa. They haven't given up. The defending champions won't get the colour that they had wanted. And I've got to say that this is a different Samoan team to what I've seen on the World Series circuit this year. It's more composed. They're playing with a lot of freedom. Different game plan as well. And they will be a real threat in the Oceania qualifications for the Olympics. Silly, silly. Couldn't control it initially. Fiji. Guilty of actually 
Maybe he's just taking their foot off the throat a little bit, the Fijians, comfortably ahead by 33 points. Sally Sally will tap and go. Slowing the ball back was Muli Voru. And he's going to spend two minutes in the bin. No point pleading his case. Haven't seen a referee change his mind and say, no, you're, just, you're right, stay on the field. <laughs> I don't think that's ever going to happen. That's to Fia Vai. Mia Lloyd, nice pass out to Vai. He scored one. Vai. The pop pass. And field is good. That's a full out in a battle. Holding, standing tall, standing strong. Mia Lloyd picks and goes. The dummy from Mia Lloyd. Great tackle coming in from Rao Vovo. That's a tackle that had to be made, and it was a bone oh, cruncher. It was a bone cruncher. Faha was on his outside. All Mia had to do was just let the ball go. Unfortunate, I guess, in desperation times. We'll just watch it. Faha was on his outside, but that was a great tackle. Now, Volvo from, from the Toka Toka Barbars Club. And a man who owes a lot to coach Ben Ryan. Had suffered from epilepsy and was a bit worried about going overseas and traveling with the team. And so Ben Ryan made sure that he's got all the medical professionals on board. And the result is that. That's how he's repaid his coach with a tackle like that and a try saver. Fiji have possession. Six players on seven, remember. Counter ruck is good and Samoa. In a very good field position. Yeah, that's the area of the game that uh, Fiji have dominated. You know, Samoa had four players in, in that ruck and still couldn't get the ball back. Great opportunity here for Samoa. I don't think Mialoi will want to go on his own here. They've got an advantage out wide. The penalty. He'll tap and go, Mialoi. The wide pass. They must score here. Again, it's Fiji, the counter ruck and the knock on. That ball needed to go wide. They had players that were unmarked. And unfortunately, that's another opportunity that's gone begging. Yeah, it certainly has. Oh, Fiji again driving through, just closing down. Every time Samoa looks dangerous, the Fiji is in defense and just shutting him down. Tremendous defensive work from Fiji on that occasion. Now back to seven players. And they get it wide and look to use the conditions of the breeze. It's a good kick and it's going to find its way into touch. Clever play from Fiji. Well, it's the first time they can actually uh, relax. Not relax so much, but just take a deep breather. It's just been frantic. Tackling, chasing, it just hasn't stopped. This has been a great final. Ben Ryan came into the competition saying the goal obviously was the Olympics and has left in Fiji a number of their strike players, Vidi Vidi, Colini Sal, Too White, both Jerry and Peel. Well, the depth that they have in the sport of sevens. It was unbelievable what a threat they will be in 2016 in Rio. Samoa, though, they all want to try and finish with a wet sail. They want to try and have the last say in this game. They may have been beaten on the scoreboard. They all want to celebrate the fact that they were unbeaten into this final. Ball is available. Fiji comes through. Play on, says the ref. They pop it up. After it had gone forward. Fans of Fiji. Celebrate another gold medal. Volvo couldn't get away on that occasion, and so Samoa. There is Mialoi. Just getting a little bit feisty here. No need for what we've seen. 
And the bench players have come on as well. No, no need for that. No, certainly. That's the last thing you want to Things do. Things are under control here. And the push in, the shoving. There, the smiles. Not a way that you want to see the game ended. Yeah, they just carried on with it a little bit. Yeah, they didn't hear the whistle. And that was the problem there, the pushing and the shoving. But you're right, the last thing you want to do is get the bench running off. And there's the sportsmanship you can see there yeah. with the Samoan. Yeah. And to Ifa, yeah. he wasn't interested in what was going on. He was worried about the player that was on the ground. Disappointing to see a yellow card issued here. Both teams guilty of carrying on with the play post the initial reaction of not hearing the whistle. And let's just see what decision has been made. A striking motion has been said, so a punch was thrown. Silly Silly is there. Mirloy is the man that has been found guilty. Off throwing a punch and it's red. <laughs> Fiji have the gold medal. Now it's in referee's time. Will Samoa reach 40? Silly Silly says, no way, not on my watch. And temper still a little bit wide hot. Yeah, it's been a very intense game in every part of it. The better off just to kick it out here. And Mossy Molivolo shouldn't carry on with it. We've seen enough. And that's exactly what he's done. The ball has found its way into the touchline. No need ref, the ball's gone out. Let's just call it quits. It's not going to alter the scoreline. And who gets the gold medal? So Samoa down to five players now as they look to run the ball and get it out wide. They can't control it. The game is over. And the World Series champions are on top of the Pacific once again. Fiji are your gold medalists. Oh, that was just fabulous. Played copybook rugby, sevens rugby in difficult conditions against a very aggressive uh, opposition. Fiji, you should be proud of yourselves winning both the men's and the women's at the 15th Pacific Games. It's a double for Fiji, and we want to show you these images of the teams coming together. It is warfare in the 20 minutes, but once that final whistle goes, the teams now congratulating each other. And the Samoan fans are proud of what their team has achieved. We'll send you back to the studio and hopefully you can come back to us with the medal presentation in just a little while.